tired friends, welcome to art class with me, Felicia, where I'll be teaching you all about 21st century contemporary artists. Today, we are going to learn all about Judy Pfaff. She was born in London, UK in 1946. She currently lives and works in Tivoli, New York. The style of art that Pfaff is known for is installation art and sculpture. Just like some of the other artists we've covered, like Christo and Jean-Claude and Dale Juhuli. Initially raised in London, Pfaff moved to Detroit with her mother at the age of 15. She studied at various schools in the Midwest and got her BA from Washington University in 1971. Then Pfaff went to Yale University School of Art. This is where she met Al Held, who became her mentor. At Yale, Pfaff began experimenting with installation art. Her work was influenced by physics, medicine, zoology, and astronomy. She completed her master's in fine arts in 1973 and moved to New York City. Pfaff has redefined sculpture and installation art since the 70s. At a time when many sculptors were using minimalist art forms, Pfaff began ma making colorful and visually appealing works of art. Pfaff uses a range of everyday and industrial materials into her installations like wire, plastic tubing, fabric, steel, fiberglass, and plaster. Pfaff describes her site-specific installations as abstract narratives based on personal experiences. Pfaff's process is intuitive and very physical. She goes into a space not knowing how the art is going to turn out. And because her work is site-specific, no two shows are the same. Pfaff relies on her knowledge, skill, and experience to carry her through each installation. Pfaff is used to working in large spaces. Her permanent installation at the Philadelphia Convention Center, Cirque, is reputed to be the largest suspended sculpture in the world. Okay, so now that we've learned all about Judy Pfaff, let's answer some questions about her. First question, where was Judy Pfaff born? Was it London, UK or Houston, Texas? If you said London, UK, you would be correct. Nice job. Second question, what type of art was Pfaff known for? Was it photography or installation art? If you said installation art, nice job. Third question, Judy Pfaff's work can be described as minimalist or colorful. If you said colorful, great job. Okay, so great job reviewing everything that we've learned about Judy Pfaff. Now we are going to make some art inspired by her. First, I will show you the instruction sheet and then you'll view a demo on how to make the project. Also, the instructions and materials needed are listed in the bio of this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the demo for the Judy Pfaff inspired artwork. So there are two ways to do this. The alternative, if you don't have any collage materials, you can um, just go ahead and e print out the Judy Pfaff coloring page. It's um, inspired by the artwork Blue Note from 2014, and you can color this in any colors that you like. Um, so that's the alternative version. Um, and if you have some collage materials, get them together and you can make your own Judy Pfaff inspired installation sculpture. So this is really just about whatever you have available to you. So it could be construction paper. I've got some pipe cleaners and pom-poms. You could use markers or crayons, um, really anything that you have available to make your own um, Judy Pfaff inspired um, installation. And so I might make some, um, something that looks kind of like flowers or you could just put just 
shapes and different colors on um it really just it's up to you you can do what you want what you decide you want to do on your paper so you just need a white piece of paper as like sort of your background and then whatever collage materials you have and you can create your um, installation so i'm going to go ahead and make mine and show you what it is at the end okay all right let me get started Okay, so here is my Judy Pfaff inspired installation piece. I have some three-dimensional parts to it, some parts that move. I did some coloring right on the paper using my markers. And then I actually just taped down the pipe cleaners and the little pom-poms, the little pom-pom flower there. Um, so again, this is just really taking whatever materials you have and making whatever it is that you want um, for your Judy Pfaff inspired installation. Um, I really hope that you liked learning all about her and creating artwork inspired by her. And I'll see you next time.